was a mysterious story about the forbidden forest in my village. To develop the economy, the government had widened the road to facilitate traffic. The big road was opened, leading to the investment of many rich business owners. They came here to develop an ecotourism area. According to the project, cranes and workers were sent to work. They embarked on replanting the forest, cutting down all the trees to get vacant land. But when the cleanup was complete, the workers discovered a huge old tree standing tall, almost as high as a hill. This discovery made the whole group of workers worried. They decided to wait until the following morning to blow up the stump. While observing, a worker working in the delegation discovered a dark figure standing on top looking down. He didn't know how the mysterious man got to the top. The man slowly walked from the inside to the side of the hill. His face was gradually revealed wrinkled like an older man with dark black eyes wearing the villagers long standing collar. The worker's gaze could not escape the figure of the mysterious older man, but the more the worker looked, the more curious he felt in his heart. The worker seemed to be hypnotized standing there for a several minutes. It was not until a colleague from afar came to call him that he woke up. He pointed to the top of the tree stump and told his colleagues about seeing the mysterious older man standing aloft in a trembling voice. But strangely enough, when they both looked up the strange older man had disappeared, leaving no trace. This thing made his colleagues laugh at him. No one believed the young worker's story. That evening the working workers returned to their tents to rest. They gathered in a large tent to light a fire and talk. The group of workers sat by the fire playing cards. After a game the young worker suddenly became uncomfortable so he went back to his bed first. After that, everything went on as if nothing happened. Only the worker that night suddenly had a cold as if he was sick. By the middle of the night the cold air and fog surrounded the small tent. Outside, the sky shut up with a fierce flash of lightning. With only a few lightning bolts, the sky poured down a force and rushing rain, drenching the surrounding land. Inside the tent, the young worker felt more uncomfortable, cold air on his toes, running up his body. This thing caused his whole body to tremble with each convulsion. He turned around slightly, just in time to sound off the tent zipper sounding like someone who was coming in, and started calling his name. The whispering voice at the head of the bed made the young man unable to sleep. He opened his eyes a little to see what was going on. The worker looked dreamily towards the door, saw that it was bright outside. The rain and wind pulled into the cold tent. A dark shadow was slowly walking towards him. The young man couldn't make out the face of the person standing in front of the tent. He could only feel as if this person was wearing a form of traditional clothing and a hat that had been around for a long time. The older man walked like a fly slowly entered the tent and walked back to the front of the worker's bed. This thing caused a worker to panic and sat up. The appearance of the older man at this time also appeared in front of the young man. He was sure that he had seen a ghost. The eyes of the older man suddenly turned red with anger. He opened his mouth wide, shouting to chase these workers away. The worker heard every word this man said, so he nodded in agreement in panic. He kept saying that he would go now and begging his spirit to spare his life, then sat up, looking around with a panicked look in his eyes. His screams woke up other workers who were sleeping around. Everyone was surprised and asked him what was wrong. The worker at this time seemed to regain some consciousness, pointed out to the door of the tent and recounted the dream he had met earlier. When his colleague heard about it, he remembered the incident in the afternoon and got angry, pulled the blanket and aggressively got out of the bed, forcing the worker to take him out to check. The two took a flashlight and went straight outside, grumbled making everyone in the tent nervous. But after only a few minutes of searching with the searchlight, both workers also saw something strange that they should not have seen themselves. The strange phenomenon before their eyes made the two men feel anxious. They crept back into the tent to guard and observe. Both of the workers held flashlights and pointed forward where there was a bright yellow light like fire right at the base of the ancient tree in the afternoon.
But when they looked closely, the old worker thought it was just an ordinary fire that was being magnified by being too close to the tent, causing the young worker to see it wrong. He turned to blame the young worker for not being careful, disturbing the sleep of other colleagues. But the young man didn't care, pointing forward. The colleague next to him saw this and looked in the direction of the hand. Both of them panicked when they saw that they had not been near any ancient trees until now, but this strange thing gave the workers here a bad premonition. The group woke up from the tent together, equipped with protective gear, and ran towards the direction of the ancient tree. Here they saw a bright yellow fire was burning fiercely, but as soon as the team reached the place this fire was completely extinguished, in front of the group of workers also appeared a large cave. The workers followed the path leading to the bottom and were shocked to discover that two coffins had been placed here. The team was confused by what they had just found. Everyone was panicking and extremely worried because the team did not know how to deal with these two coffins. While the team was busy trying to find a solution, there was a loud sound from the tents, sounding like broken rock, very scary, making the whole team of workers look back in surprise. The incident happened in front of the workers' eyes as quickly as the blink of an eye. No one had time to move, they just stood still and watched the big rocks rolling down from above. The rocky hill behind the tent suddenly moved. The ground also trembled. There was also a crackling sound from the hillside and the sound of dust pouring down below. Huge rocks poured down below, pressing on the small tents. In the blink of an eye, rocks were able to level the ground. This thing was like a giant rock man, smashing the tents in front of him with his hands. Those who were present to witness a strange and scary event at that time could not keep their composure and also knew in their hearts that they had just made a big mistake that was difficult to repair. The team was seen to be dumbfounded by the wreckage right in front of them for a long time. But the young worker alone thought that this was also a blessing. Because if they did not go out, they would also be crushed to death by these giant rocks. Looking at the crushed tents and the working tools of each worker, no one could help but feel pity. After regaining their spirits, the workers immediately discussed with each other, figuring out how to handle the messy things here. People were divided into groups to work. One group actively called the management report. Another group started going out to see if there were any tools left. The current situation made outsiders sigh because the working tools were no longer usable and they had to wait for support from the manager. The rest of the group in the cave checked the neck of the coffin. Everyone began to work together to open the coffin lid to check inside and discovered a set of remains. Based on the remains of the bones, this was the remains of a man buried here in the last century. In the place where the coffin was found, the workers also found a long-standing hat for the village officials. The hat on the ground surprised the young worker because it was the same hat that the older man he saw was wearing. Lately, I heard my grandmother recount that the place was formerly the burial place of old mandarins. Although many coffins had been excavated for a long time, there was still a coffin of the first official in the village inside. After this incident, the other group of construction workers all resigned because they were so scared. The project was also stopped. Later, historians also came and excavated the surviving ancient tomb and brought it to another place for proper burial. <laughs>